Good morning. I am out here by myself today doing a solo goose hunt. We are back out in the stubble field. I am just putting down the last few decoys here. We're getting close to shooting time. Sun is starting to come up on the horizon here. I'm hunting in the layout blind here today. Since it's just myself, I wasn't gonna set up the A-frame. I hear geese on the neighboring field already honking, so I'm gonna get the gun loaded up here, jump into the layout blind, give them a couple honks, let them know I'm here, and we'll see if we can get them to come over here. All right, it is shooting light now. We got a train coming down the track behind us here. Tell you what, after hunting out of that A-frame for the past few hunts, um, this layout blind sure is not as comfortable. It's way more comfortable sitting in a seat than laying on your back here. I'm in the low profile layout blind today. I got it grassed up pretty well. I went over to a fence line on the edge of this field and plucked some grass this morning. I was running a little low on time because uh, there's a lot to set up by myself here. But we'll see how this solo goose hunt goes. I haven't been on a solo goose hunt in a very long time. Wind is out of the north. It's going to be out of the north 10 to 15 today. It's supposed to be partly sunny this morning, turning into mostly cloudy late morning, early afternoon. So we got a little bit of movement in the spread today with the full bodies there dancing around a little bit. I've got some motion stakes out there so I have heard a goose off to the east this morning. I think he's either down in the river or in another field that's a mile or so away. Well guys, we had one come kind of check us out, but then the train came and I think it got a little nervous and kept going, but we'll see if something else doesn't come by. We got one. We got one single single that came in and he did it dirty. Alright, I'm gonna go pick him up real quick. See if we can't get another one. Yeah boys. He did it so dirty too. Came right down the hole. Woo! If you like this solo goose hunt, hit that like button. It's been slow so far. We've only had that one really commit to us. We had another one that looked at us a little earlier, but there hasn't been a lot. There's been, the geese have been off to the east. In fact, there was just a volley of shots that happened over there just now. There is a big group that's in the field about a mile away from me and they're sucking most of the flocks over to them. And they have been shooting like crazy. I don't know how many guys there are over there, but there must be, I don't know, seven or eight guys at least with all the shots that go off. So we'll see if they let another flock or two go through and they uh, come over here to me. 
All right, I'm gonna show you the spread here a little bit before I pick it up. So this is what I was talking about uh, earlier. So I got a, a triangle shaped pocket here instead of a circle. So I call this spread the uh, Bermuda Triangle. So we have just one line. The wind is coming from our north, so from that way. We have one line of decoys. I've got them clumped a little closer together around where I was hiding there in the layup line. That's the spot that I want them to key in on. So they're gonna come up the gut here, up into the triangle, and then land right in front of all those clusters of decoys. I put my full bodies and my shells out on each side of the line that's behind us. And they are pointed from the end of the line into the center, uh, about 20 yard gap between the two lines. And then I have about a 20 yard gap between those lines and the back line on each side. So the geese can come down the middle here and if they don't like anything once they're in the hole they can escape out each corner and it gets them uh, pretty close to some pass shooting if they're not going to land. The one this morning came perfectly down the center of the hole and then it was honing in right on my cluster of decoys around my blind and it was going to land literally five feet in front of me. He came in here and he checked this out and it worked out perfectly. He did exactly how I set this up. Uh, just unfortunately we didn't have any more geese come by and give us a look like that. Uh, that other group that's off to the northwest, they did uh, have quite a bit of shooting. There was a lot of guys out there, at least five to seven guys with all the shots that were going on. They had, I don't know, two or three good volleys of shots and then a couple singles here and there. But most of the geese got pulled off and went up there to them. So some days that's just the way it is. But I'm gonna get all this stuff picked up and get back to the house. I'm gonna eat a little lunch and then I'm gonna go check trail cams uh, on our food plot here this afternoon and freshen up any mineral sites that need to be refreshened up too. And if you like this solo goose hunt video, click that like button. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell so you get all the notifications when we upload a video. And as always, remember to take a kid on an outdoors adventure.